Um, common question. You will be asked to consider how to stop a car and what factors will affect the distance a car travel while it's trying to stop. It comes in two parts. First of all, the driver will travel a distance while he's thinking about stopping. This is his reaction time. So he sees something come on the road. It takes a little bit of time before he puts his foot on the brake. And things that can affect this are if he's under the influence of alcohol, if he's tired, if he's taking drugs or some other medication, and if there's poor visibility. There's, those will all increase the distance he travels while he's thinking, which is called thinking distance. Braking is all about the car, the condition of the car and the road. So wet roads, drowned too fast, tyres and brakes worn out, icy roads, the effect of the car, tyres, brakes will all contribute to a longer braking distance. Add the two distances together, gives you the overall stopping distance of the car. Bringing force and momentum together, again, this is just for hire. Newton's second law of motion says the force acting on an object is its rate of change of momentum. In other words, to get something to stop or to start, you can work out the force needed. What it means is, if you want a bigger change of momentum, you're going to need a bigger force. And if you want to do that in a shorter time, you're also going to need a bigger force. The equation here looks complicated for higher, and it is one of the hardest questions you may well get. Back to cars. Let's use Newton's second law to explain how airbags work. Here's an example. So an airbag means that it slows down the time the driver stops. Basically, the change in momentum is the same, because obviously the car has to come to a stop, but it increases the time of the collision, and that time increase means there's less force. The same thing with seat belts. They stretch a little bit, so it increases the time, and also crumples in the start of the front of the car, increases the time, means there's less force, and less likely that you sustain injury.